Hey everyone, welcome to Catholic Girl Talk. My name is Olivia, and on this channel, we talk about faith, femininity, fashion, and friendship for young Catholic girls. Today, I am going to be sharing with you all about morning routines. What would it look like for a Catholic college girl to have a morning routine? I know like late nights in college are very typical and early mornings are maybe not. Over this past year, I have really discovered three main benefits from cultivating a morning routine. One, it sets me up to receive the Lord's love throughout the day. It really grounds me in the present moment and it becomes a sign of hope for the rest of the day. And these are benefits that all of us can receive by even just taking a few moments to cultivate a morning routine. I just picked a few things that help me gain all of these three benefits. And it can include reading a book, journaling, doing a morning offering, prayer. Um, and it can be anywhere from a few simple minutes to maybe a longer hour or two. Um, depending on what I need for the day, but also what I have time for or if I needed a little more sleep the night before. But number one, a morning routine sets me up to receive the Lord's love. I had this idea that I had to wake up and pray right away in the morning. But this was coming from a, a twisted notion that I had to just get my prayer time done. And it wasn't coming from a place of relationship of love with the Lord. And so I realized that it was not healthy for me to get up and rush through prayer right away in the morning. What I needed to do instead was to take care of my human need to like rest and to be and to receive the beauty and the goodness and the silence and the peace, a little introverted myself time, that I needed before I could receive the Lord's love later in prayer. So then when I showed up to prayer later, I was ready to listen to the Lord and ready to cultivate a relationship with Him. So some things I would do to set myself up to receive the Lord's love. I would do a simple morning offering journal, morning offering prayer, um, and then I would just read a book that I loved, journal some of my thoughts. So I was still offering my day to the Lord, but taking care of this human need. And now what's really beautiful is the Lord is starting to invite me to pray more in the mornings because I realize that I want to come to the source of my life and my relationship with Him. But this whole long period of not praying right away taught me that relationship with the Lord is the most important thing. And so now I want to be with him right away in the morning. And my morning routine has really grounded me in the present moment. So I recognize that right away when I wake up, I would wake up, I would rush about my day and that would set the tone for the rest of my day. I would be hurried, I would be rushed, I would be anxious. Something that I realized was so important was to just take a few moments in silence to sit, to not try to be productive, um, but to do something that I loved to do such as reading a book, um, such as just sitting and looking out the window. One of my favorite things is to go down the dorm walkway um, and see the sunrise and just feel the beautiful weather. Sometimes it would be really freezing, very, very cold, but I would just bundle up and still go outside because I just loved seeing the beauty of the morning, like the sun the birds. Grounding in the present moment has been so beautiful and good because it helps me to calm those anxious thoughts and that calming has set the tone for the rest of my day to be more present, to be more able to receive. So that's been a huge benefit is to be able to be more at peace throughout the day. Mornings have become such a sacred time of hope for me. One of my favorite prayers is the Canticle of Zachariah, which is such a beautiful prayer. But one of the lines, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. And those lines just really struck me because there's something so beautiful about a sunrise. Also in the Lord of the Rings, there's this moment where one of the characters, they're just losing this battle or it's just going very bad. I'm really paraphrasing, but he basically is like, I need a moment. He goes and looks out over the battlefield, over the scene, and the and his enemies are laughing at him. What are you gonna what are you doing? You're about to get killed. Ha ha. And he's like, I came out to see the dawn. And that hit me so deeply because there's something about the sunrise and the canonical of Zechariah shining on those in darkness. And those really, really dark moments, this consistent thing of the sun rising every morning. And God's mercies are new every morning. And so for me to take a few moments to just really rest and receive, 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 receive the beauty of the Lord's love in the 
beautiful sunshine at the end of the walkway of the dorm, the sun rising over the abbey, um, the birds chirping, a nice steaming cup of coffee, my favorite fairy tale, or just journaling out some of my anxieties and worries to the Lord in the morning. It's just a sign of hope because every morning the Lord gives us a chance to start over again. Every moment and every morning and every sunrise is just a sacred and beautiful reminder of that. And so that hope has been a great benefit in my life to just really embrace the hope that the Lord has for me through through cultivating a morning routine. So if you're thinking, I have no idea how I can cultivate a morning routine. I am way too busy. Think about why, why would I want to do this? I had this mindset of being so productivity focused that it took a lot for me to be like, no, I'm just going to have the morning to not be productive. It took that mindset shift. And once I did, it helped me to cultivate being and receiving overdoing and being productive or anxiousness or I have to get my prayer time done or whatever. Mind set shift of this is important for me and this is important for me to live the rest of my life well. I hope that you all start your own morning routine practices. See the next video for more practical tips on how to start a morning routine and check out Catholic Girl Talk on Instagram. Not on Instagram very much because I like to live my real life well. Maybe more videos on Catholic Girl Talk and technology coming up soon. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share it with your friends. The best thing you can do, um, and this comes straight from my heart, is if this video touched you and you know someone else it would touch, please share it with them. That matters so much more than all the likes and subscribes and comments <laughs> that you have to say if you're a YouTuber. Thank you very much for watching. Have a very beautiful day and God bless. Yay! Kombucha break. You should always drink kombucha in a mason jar.